Oh, oh man. Look at this, Halava State Prison on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. Oh, you guys see me, like you guys see me. Like I'm always like, I'm, I'm at San Quentin Prison. I'm, I'm working with different prisons in the state of California. I'm working with prisons now across the nation, right? But, but you never see me tripped out like this because this is the prison that I used to be housed in. Like, it's crazy, right? When I was here, I had no future. I had no chance at a life. My life was over. Like, like my kids, like I was never gonna see my kids again. Like I had nothing, like I had no money, I had no family, I had, I had nothing, you know? And, and like my whole life was just destruction. You know, I, I ended up getting out of prison and, and it's still like, I had like no hope. But one day I walked into a CNC shop in Zen, called Zenola Manufacturing in Sunnyvale, California. I walked into an industry that I didn't even know existed, where there was these robotic machines, like fifty to a hundred thousand dollar machines on the floor, where you took raw metal. I didn't even know raw metal. Like I was from the islands. I knew pineapple. Like I knew surfing and and like tourism and stuff, right? But all of a sudden, I'm in a machine shop where they take raw metal, put them into these machines. You know, end mills and face mills and drills come down and actually machine the parts. Like literally blew my mind, blew my mind. You know, I didn't I didn't come in, you know, I was, I was 26 years old. I wasn't making big money. I, I came into Zanola Manufacturing making $9 an hour, $9 an hour. But I was hungry because I had kids that I wanted to actually have them come and live with me, right? I had kids that I wanted to actually be a father to. You know, I, all of a sudden, like I saw an opportunity that, wait, you don't have to go to college. You don't have to, <clears throat> you don't have to like come from this crazy life and have family and have all this. In this trade, through your artistic ability, through your creativity, through your workmanship, through the, the head that you have and the determination, you can actually do something crazy, right? Man, that that changed everything. I started working at Zanola Manufacturing. I started putting the time in, I started putting the effort in. I got there early, I left late, I talked to the boss, I asked for books, went to NTMA at night. I worked all day, went to NTMA in, in like Santa Clara and basically took classes and I put the work in, I put the time in, and just like, just hustle, right? Every time, when they, when they started putting me on a CNC machine, I, would, I just started taking pride in actually my workmanship, how many parts I could actually get done. And then actually like putting the time in, right? Every time the boss came, came by, I would be like, hey, you know, this is how many parts I ran and this is how fast I'm going and this and this and this and this. And he started taking pride in me and started liking that. Like I was aggressive. I was hungry for it. Like he, he loved that I actually was hungry to learn the trade and that made him want to actually teach me. You know, sometimes I talk to people, sometimes I talk to people and, and they're, they're like, what is the trait that will help you in CNC machining? You know what, you know what, watch how easy this is. Be likable, be likable, man. Like I had a good attitude. Like I was just like a likable guy that I just like, I was like, oh my God, like I didn't have a car before. Like what? Like, you know, we used to hitchhike and, and like my, I used to hide in the bushes but my mom would try to take me to the doctors or something, right? Cause I didn't want my friends to see me like hitchhiking on the side of the road. And now you got me on a hundred thousand dollar machine. Like what? You know, this is awesome. Like. And every, I'd just be reading, I'd, I'd take books home and stuff. And because I was likable and I would always joke around and I had passion, all of a sudden the owners of the company, Dave Zanola and Kevin Zanola, they basically took, took like pride in me and started teaching me because they enjoyed seeing me learn. You know what I mean? They enjoyed seeing me learn. And, and my, my whole existence just took, took off from there, right? I went from $9 an hour to $11 an hour to $13 an hour, you know, up to, you know, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 28, you know, and, and basically, you know, all of a sudden, 
when I first, oh, I think when I was at $14 an hour, I got my own apartment. I ended up getting a car payment. You know, I saw my whole life changed and, and this, this disappeared. Not that you know, I didn't regret the things that I did. Not that I didn't deserve to go in here when I actually went in here, but it disappeared because all of a sudden I started becoming a good man because I had things to lose. And I thought I got away from the old people and the old environments and I got away from the negativity. I got around positivity. I started doing good things in life. And all of a sudden this became a distant memory. Today, people, again, pe people ask me, Titan, like you help like inmates, you because I'm a man of faith and, and I'm qualified to help inmates and to change rehabilitation because of my, my time in manufacturing my my time in building shops right in programming and also you know my time being an inmate here right people would be like oh autism like you're heavy into autism well i got two kids with autism right so if that's the hand that i've been dealt my family's been dealt how can i change people's lives right you know oh you're like pushing pushing the kids and you're pushing this and pushing that it's like look this is a crazy industry right here this is a crazy industry like and you don't have to go to college you can basically walk in here with talent and determination you can learn this trade you can end up owning your own shop you can end up leading the shops you can end up just being solid work a solid worker that does amazing things you know for companies and be a pillar for that company this trade is amazing right there's a lot of people that get down on it and stuff but it's like look this this is what you make it go after greatness make big things happen and and it's good right so seven minutes i want to i want to like finish finish up but that's how i got into this trade from behind these these walls right here with no hope walked into this trade it changed my entire life and because it changed my life and gave me life i dedicate my entire life now to lifting you guys up all right so uh please subscribe to my channel hit all the likes sorry for this being kind of a rough video right here but like i'm standing at halava prison and this is like kind of shaking me up a little bit all right this is crazy there are people in here right now hawaii doesn't have manufacturing there's people in here that could actually build things that could have a different life if they had opportunity but they didn't have the opportunity right so when you see people trying to make america like just a service oriented industry industry nation like don't buy into it we are built to make our own products therefore you know and you trade those products for money and that gives you money and you can have a life you take that away from the people and they they're going to end up in here a lot of them will end up in here right we can't all serve the tourists all right so anyway god bless you guys everybody take care i gotta go see my family now take care home